We go now to our reporter, Laura Windsor, who has more on children and fevers. Although it can be frightening when your child's temperature rises, fever itself causes no harm and can actually be a good thing. As Dr. James Prague, an emergency physician at Children's Hospital of Orange County tells us, a fever is the way the body fights infections. A fever uh, is defined as an elevated temperature uh, in excess of the person's normal, usually greater than 100 degrees. Most of us run 98.6. Uh, although some of us will run as high as 100. That is our normal temperature. Something that would be a temperature in the morning may not be a temperature in the afternoon because there is an elevation of temperature as the day goes on. So there are normal variants and there's normal changes within each individual throughout the day. The fever may be something simple caused by a simple virus that needs no intervention whatsoever, or it could signify a serious bacterial infection that has a potential for a life threat. When is it simple and when is it complex and how do you distinguish that? There are some general guidelines. For example, uh, anybody that has a child that has a temperature over 104, regardless of age, probably needs to be seen. Uh, but that there are caveats for that too. If they look fabulous, are eating, are drinking, are playful, are happy, then they don't need to come to the emergency department. If they're less than three months and have a temperature of 100 and look sick or just having a temperature of 100, they need to be seen by a care provider. The art is being able to pick out quickly which of those fevers represent uh, something serious. If the temperatures if are lower than 104, if they're greater than three months, if they're feeding, uh, if they're taking fluids, if they look normal, they're playful, they can be watched at home and observed. Just because you have a fever, does that mean you have an infection? Absolutely not. There's all sorts of reasons for elevated temperatures. They can be infectious, which most people assume they, them to be. There are other uh, immunologic and or inflammatory conditions, not infections, that could give rise to an elevated temperature. And there's something as simple as bundling or environmental stress that can elevate, particularly a child's temperature. The percentage of truly significant fevers representing a truly significant infection are probably less than 2-3%. The rest of them are simple viruses um, or they can be a bacterial infection that can be treated as an outpatient uh, with antibiotics and appropriate therapy given that infection. Indications for the use of Tylenol or ibuprofen uh, would be f as comfort measures to the child. They feel bad when they have an elevated temperature. They're not hungry. Uh, they may be nauseated. They may have aches and pains. They may have headache. Uh, they just don't feel good. So that would be a reason for treating a fever is for to the child to be comfortable. Just remember, your child's fever is helping fight infections. We need to be concerned about the causes, but not about the fever. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.